Introduce yourself and briefly explain about your project that you are working in the RUA program. My name is Amin Ali and I'm currently working on a project that what I'm doing is I'm comparing the different types of algorithms used to create sensor networks and wireless networks and I'm comparing the hop count between these different networks to see which one would be best to be used in the field. Okay. Now, you were in the final week of your program. What do you feel about the overall accomplishments in your project? I feel that um, over the course of the program, I've, I've managed to learn a lot about the sensor networks, how they function, and also learn much more about the algorithms used to develop sensor networks, and I believe this has given me a good chance to just learn more about a very interesting topic. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being poor, 5 being more excellent, how would you rate yourself in wireless ad hoc networks and sensor networks? I would say a 4 or 5, mainly because even though I'm, I've learned a lot from when I first came to the program, I still wouldn't consider myself an expert in the field of wireless networks. Okay. Should there be any changes in the way students are mentored in the RUA program? If so, what are the changes you would like to recommend? I don't think there needs to be any changes at the moment. The amount of times that we get to meet with our mentor and allow them to help us is quite sufficient. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being not at all, 5 being more definitely, would you like to pursue a graduate school in the area of wireless ad hoc networks and sensor networks? I have to say most definitely 5 mainly because I found this topic really interesting and I thought it would be a good um, project for me to find a way to merge my major with the wireless center networks. Okay. Dr. Skeleton was your primary mentor and uh, Dr. Megan Arden was your principal second mentor for you in your project. How much did they motivate you and help you in your project? Um, they both helped me quite a lot, mainly because when I first started, I wasn't very sure about what direction I wanted to take my project in, and they both helped me in deciding my project, and even beyond that, they helped me form my ideas and create a good um, project plan. Mm -hmm. Dr. Moore also presented an orientation section during the middle of the program. On a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being not at all, 5 more definitely, how these sections will enhance your interest to pursue your terminal degree, that is PhD in computer science? Um, so when I was first coming into the program, I wasn't 100% sure whether or not I wanted to pursue a PhD or a master's degree, but I really think Dr. Moore's presentation um, helped open my eyes to some of the benefits of gaining these higher degrees, and I would have to say that I would most definitely want to pursue a PhD. There are also research seminars on bioinformatics, digital image processing, high performance computing. How do you rate these seminars? Um, I have to say I really enjoyed all three of them. While I already had a slight background in high performance computing, both the bioinformatics and the data um, digital image processing um, lecture was really interesting and it really showed me a lot of the opportunities and how the current programs that we're working on, it's wireless sensor networks, can be integrated into many different fields. Okay. The field trip like ERDC, how do you rate this field trip? I have to say it was a five, because similar to the lectures that we had earlier, the this field trip actually showed us um, a real life example of where we can actually apply some of the skills that we were learning currently in the program. Do we need to organize such trips in the future? I would really enjoy it if there were more, more frequent trips such as these. Okay. How would you compare your presentation skills both in oral and in writing before the beginning of the research program and now at the end of the program? Um, while I've given written presentations before, this is one of my first and one of my few actually oral presentations. So from the beginning compared to my final presentation that I hope to give soon, I really learned a lot about how to present orally and certain skills that you need, such as looking at the audience and such skills. What are the major strengths of the audio program? Are there any weaknesses in this program? If so, what are they? 
I think one of the main strengths of the program is the freedom that we have in taking a research topic and developing it into our own our own results and our own goals. So I really like that. Um, well, I can't think of any weaknesses. A possible bonus would be the option to choose many different a variety of topics to go forward in with our research. Okay. How was the coding experience during the program? How much knowledge? have you gained with respect to logical development and implementation as well as programming language that you worked on? So as far as programming languages, I mainly developed in Java, but I've also did a little bit of Python programming language. And as I've never done Python before, this was a great opportunity for me to learn more about a brand new language. But also in terms of logic, I, the method that we use to program these um, simulations was new to me, so I believe that gave me a new perspective on simulation. Do you think your research is publishable and why? I think my research is publishable because as I mentioned earlier, I'm comparing many different types of wireless network algorithms and mesh forming algorithms and I believe the result of my research can be beneficial to anyone who is looking into developing a wireless sensor network. Okay. Finally, on a scale of 1 to 100 percent, how confident you were in research before attending the program and now after attending the program? I have to say before attending the program, I haven't, I haven't actually had many research opportunities. So my research experience, I would have given myself a 30, but now I believe it's more of a 70, 80 percent because I believe the research experience that I've gained here can be applied to many different research fields. Mm -hmm.